Hi there. So, is it actually possible for me to measure and calculate the radius and circumference of the Earth using the tools we all have access to and in a way that is easy enough to understand and doesn't require any knowledge of advanced mathematics? I've been wanting to give this a go for a while now, but all the methods I've seen for an average dude like me look a little bit complicated and I want to fully understand every step as as best I can. Is it even possible? The method I've seen that looks doable for a chump like me is the Al Biruni method. In the 11th century, this guy determined the radius of the earth by measuring the drop of the horizon from the top of a mountain. And then he used his own equation to calculate the Earth's radius. Pretty bloody impressive, I think. Now, I've got pretty much no idea what this equation means. I could learn, but for the purpose of this video, let's not use it. I'm sure Al Biruni achieved a really high level of accuracy using his equation, but for now, I don't quite understand it, so I'm not going to use it. Luckily for me, I've actually got this Theodolite app and know how to use it. So maybe I can do a modified version of the Al Biruni method. If I can use the Theodolite app to measure the angle down to the horizon and find these angles, and if I can work out the distance here, I can then use a triangle calculator app, which are super easy to use, that'll give us these lengths here, which is the radius of the Earth. And then we can keep going and use a circle calculator, which is super easy to use, barely an inconvenience. I can then find the circumference of the Earth. And if I can get that within a couple of hundred miles, I think that's pretty amazing. Also, forgive me a bit when I switch between imperial and metric. Here in Australia, we kind of use both, but I'll convert everything accordingly. All right, let's do this. My observation point is Gangan Lookout. It's about 520 feet in elevation. My horizon target is the ocean around Sugarloaf Point Lighthouse. So, if we imagine a giant triangle from the lookout to the lighthouse and down to the center of the earth and back, what we need to do is work out these dimensions. First, we need to get this angle, which will give us this angle. Some of you may have seen in this video here, I established the accuracy of the Theodolite app and also adequately observed that the horizon doesn't rise to Y level. And we can safely say that on an infinite plane, the horizon would rise to eye level. Actually, I can imagine that refraction alone on a flat infinite plane would cause a super significant superior mirage. Anyway, using the Theodolite app from the lookout, I point it down to the horizon, which gives us an angle of minus 0.4 degrees. Very small. And just for reference, according to the Globe Earth model, there's also a 0.4 degree drop to the horizon from 500 feet. If we minus 0.4 from 90 degrees, we get this angle of 89.6 degrees. That's our first data point. Next, the length or distance from the lookout to the horizon. Google Earth says the distance from Gangan Lookout to Sugarloaf Lighthouse is about 50 kilometers or 31 miles. Now, judging from my zoomed in photo here, the actual horizon looks a bit closer. I can't see the beach or sand dunes here, and if we compare that with the aerial view with my line of sight, I'm going to have a little informed guess here and say the horizon is back here about 45 kilometers away, give or take. 45 is a good round number, so let's use that. And that's our horizon distance, our second data point. We established the horizon doesn't rise to eye level, so straight down from the horizon would be 90 degrees. That's our third data point. Now, the fun part. This is a triangle calculator app. If we know two of the angles and at least one of the lengths, this calculator will calculate the lengths we don't know. That's reasonably easy to understand, right? Now we have to imagine this triangle is upside down compared to this one. Well, I am doing this in Australia, so this is the lookout, our first data point. This here is the horizon near the lighthouse, our third, I think, data point that was. And the center of the Earth is here. 
The angle down to the horizon is minus 0.4 degrees, so this angle here is 89.6 degrees, which is 90 degrees minus 0.4. This angle is 90 degrees straight down. Then our distance to the horizon, which we worked out at 45 kilometers, and if we calculate, this gives us these lines here, which is the radius of the Earth of 6,445 kilometers. Now, according to the science, the Earth's radius is 6,371 kilometers. So for me, that's an error of just 74 kilometers, meaning I got the Earth's radius within an almost 99% accuracy. Like, seriously, forgive me here, but that's freaking awesome. I did originally only plan on getting this far, but after realizing I can now work out the circumference of the Earth using my own radius measurements, I kept going. Now we need a circle or circumference calculator. And yes, I see an equation, but I understand what's going on. Calculating the circumference of a circle from the radius, that's pretty straightforward. And when we put into the radius variable of 6,445 kilometers, that gives us 40,495. That's our circumference as I've worked it out. Let's convert that into miles so whatever amount I'm out doesn't seem so much. And what we get is 25,162 miles is what I've worked out the circumference of the Earth to be. And according to the science or Google, the circumference of the Earth in miles is 24,901 miles. So 25,162 miles minus 24,901 is 261 miles oh my freaking god i measured and calculated the circumference of the earth within 260 miles dang on the global scale that's this amount tiny that's a 98.96 percent accuracy virtually 99 percent seriously i'm over the freaking moon by this Thank you, good night, it's possible for anyone to work out for themselves the radius and circumference of the Earth. I know this is something that can be done, but I just wanted to show that it's something anyone can do. Thank you all for watching, commenting and subscribing. A huge thanks to my Patreons, Walter Bislin, John Stock, Cap Scorch, Marco Smith, J Mac and K Bill Elizabeth. Thank you all very much. Oh, and I thought the name of my method could be the simplified underworld Burundi method for the chump on the street that can't use equations for shite, but can press buttons on an app and stuff. <laughs> okay, thank you all. And never forget to tell all the morons to try and use their own brains for once. Unless, of course, they believe medical science is lying to them about even having a brain. See ya.